How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting a fuzz? What's going on, people? People, this is a day of another day. Of another day that we call Monday. Anyway, with it being said, what's going to be the whole the body doing everything as far as being safe in progress. Now, I come to you because I'm a little, a lot upset because of the transgender bill as far as, you know, the transgenders in the bathroom and the Of course, I go across another video of someone stating, you know, I feel as though you need to be inside the bathroom as well as, you know, the birth that you were born. And I don't feel as though um, trans people should be in the bathroom, you know, you ought to identify, you know, as a whole thing as far as the building stuff, as far as, you know, going out. And the thing about it is that the, I don't understand that the transgender are people who feel as though they want to change their gender, they have the wrong body, there's other kids, whatever way you want to look at it and stuff like that now. This is my thing. I don't understand why is this so much of a big problem with the transgenders in the bathroom or, you know, as far as that, you know, but it's, it's, it's old to me because I'm like, you know, you got trans men who looks like men that's going to be inside the women's room. And you got trans women who look like women that's going to be in the women's room. Now, this is my thing. They try to push, you know, for that and stuff like that. And this is my thing. So what happens when a transgender woman walks into the men's room because this is the sex she was born and she's supposed to be, you know, basically in the men's room and not in the women's room. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to confuse you. So this is my thing. I'm like this. This is how I see it. You know, your rules, do they apply to everything? Because... If I remember right, if they say we're gonna we're gonna forget about the transgender they're gonna say man. Okay, fine, they say, you know, you're man, you're born, you're man, you're stuff like that. So this is my thing. So when we decide that we want to go inside of the you know, the um what's that, the men's room and stuff, because now we are men, you know, so we have to step there, you know, by by the rules of the you know, um, as far as the bathroom bill and you know, they got these movements and stuff like that. you know the transgenders inside the bathroom and if you were born a man you need to be inside the men's room and stuff like that and you don't need to be you know um basically inside of the um men's room you need to be inside of the i mean you're supposed to be inside the men's room you're not supposed to be inside of the women's room okay so this is my thing so I'm, since I'm so much of a man, so basically I can wear what I want, right? You know, so reality is that I don't even shouldn't have to be this on either. But I'm going to keep it on just for, you know, you understand what I'm saying, reason. But the thing about it is that how far do your rules go? You know, do your rules go all the way? You know, this is my thing. I always wondered how far are you willing to take it? Because when a guy was inside of a bathroom, he see me stand up there, you know, paint my face. Well, not painting mine because I'm not going to do all that extra stuff. But he sees me stand up there inside the bathroom and stuff like that. What do you think you're going to say? When a man walks into the man's room and see me stand up there in the bathroom like this. Because remember, 
I'm a man, remember? So since I'm this man, so why should I dress up, you know, why should I sit up there and be inside of the women's room when I am a man? Because this is what you, this is what you want to push out there on these people out there. This is what you're saying as far as men inside of the women's room. Now, if you look at me, and you look at my body, and you tell me why I should be inside of the men's room. This is my thing. People have an idea of what they think something looks like. It's just stuff that looks like this walks inside the room, inside the room. But I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. I'm going to get a lot of phone numbers. I'm going to get a lot of... I'm going to get a lot of... Oh yeah, it's going to be some crazy stuff. And the thing, the reason why I'm doing this because it sends out a message as far as a lot of girls and guys of the suicide. When they don't feel accepted, they start doing other things. That's when the door closes and that person does not walk back out of it again. You know, so that's my whole thing when it comes down to that. As far as living your truth, living your truth. But how far do you take your rules? Because my thing is, this, if, if, this, if it is what it is, then I should be able to walk inside the men's room without this. Just plain like a man. I mean, get it together now. Because for some reason, I think y'all got this whole, it's a man inside the bathroom and stuff like that. You got it all misconstrued. You think everybody looks the same way and they don't. Trust and believe. Anyway, that being said, I would love to hear your feel I would love to hear your opinion about this and up to the transitions in the bathroom. And I got really oop a lot like this because some of I can answer. I want people to see exactly what you're pushing inside of the men's room. So they can get an idea who's gonna be standing next to their husband and their their, their husband, their boyfriends or their fiancés to be when they walk inside of there, because sometimes making a piece of candy convenient to a man inside of a store, he just may take a little lick from it. Anyway, that being said, I will leave your comments about this, and I will let you know that I love you, and I want to thank you for watching. Catch the rain.